a beautiful icon of St. George with the dragon, Dad. (laughs) Yes, it is a beautiful icon, Lavinia. You are right. But that's not St. George. That's actually an icon of a saint called St. Theodore El Shatby. Oh, St. Theodore. I've never heard of this saint. Can you tell me more about his story, Dad? Just like St. George, he is also on a horse wearing army clothes. Yes, that's right, Lavinia. That's because, like St. George, he served in the army too. Let's sit down, and I'll tell you the story of this great saint. St. Theodore was born in the year 281 AD. His dad's name was John, who was a Christian, from a city in Upper Egypt called Shateb. His mum was a prince's daughter, but she was not a Christian. Dear Lord, I thank you for everything you've given me. Please, Lord, give me strength. My wife has been trying to force me to worship her idols. I would never do that, but I'm worried for my son Theodore. I want him to be a Christian and to worship you as I do. One day an angel appeared to John and told him, Do not be afraid, John. Leave your pagan wife and return to your country, Egypt. Do not worry about your son Theodore. He will become a great Christian, and because of his strong faith, thousands will believe in the Lord Jesus. Just like the angel said, Theodore was baptized at the age of 15. He was filled with the Holy Spirit, and because of his courage in the battles, he became very famous. In one of the battles, he fought alongside another saint called Prince Theodore El Mishriki, who was also a very famous saint. Oh, Theodore El Mishriki, I have heard so much about you. My name is also Theodore, and I too am a Christian in the army. May God strengthen us both and help us overcome our enemies in this battle. In the battlefield together, Archangel Michael appeared to encourage and support them both, and they defeated the enemy. The Emperor was so happy with Saint Theodore El Shatby that he appointed him as a ruler of one of the cities. One day, Saint Theodore was riding his horse and stumbled across a lady who was sad and crying. Hello there. Why are you crying? Oh, Prince Theodore, please help me. They have taken my two boys to be eaten as a sacrifice to the dragon. I am a Christian widow and I have no one else but my two boys. Please, Lord, help me defeat this dragon and rescue these two boys from this dragon. After Theodore prayed, Archangel Michael appeared to him and helped him kill the dragon. The people of the city were very happy to get rid of the evil dragon and many were baptized in the name of Lord Jesus Christ after witnessing this miracle. When the pagan priest heard what St. Theodore had done, they went to the emperor and told him that Theodore was a Christian and that many people had converted to Christianity because of him. The emperor became very angry. What is this that I have heard? You are a Christian? I am ordering you to worship the idols now or much harm will come to you. Never. These idols are just stone. They have no life. There is only one living God, Jesus Christ. He is whom I worship. Take that back. Guards, take him away. You're not going to get away with this, Theodore. I will torture you until you yield. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. My dear Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, please give me the power to remain strong in faith. Beloved Theodore, God has heard your prayers and has sent me to comfort and heal you. You have endured much torture, but will soon receive the crown of martyrdom. Thank you, my God and Saviour Jesus Christ, for listening to my prayers and being always with me. Guards, bring me Theodore from his cell. Surely he is dead by now from all the torture he has endured. What? How are you alive and well? I have put you through so many persecutions. How is it that you are not hurt at all? My God has healed me. He never leaves us, and no matter what you do, I will never worship your idols. Guards, take him away and throw him to the flames. When St Theodore heard this, he prayed to God, saying, My Lord, God, and Saviour Jesus Christ, accept my spirit and protect my body from the fire, that everyone may know that you are the real God. To you is the power and the glory forever. Amen. Suddenly, the Lord of Glory himself appeared to Theodore in a cloud and told him, My beloved Theodore, 
Come to your eternal rest in the kingdom of heaven. You have been crowned with the great wreath of martyrdom. The fire will not burn your body, for miracles and wonders will be performed through your blessed body and also through the mentioning of your name. Saint Theodore was martyred in the year 313 AD and received the crown of martyrdom. His body was buried next to his father in the city of Shateb in Egypt. Oh, what a beautiful story. Now I know about Saint Theodore and it all makes sense. I see on the icon the picture of the two boys who are going to be eaten by the dragon and the mother crying in the background. Yes, Lavinia, Saint Theodore is a great saint and we should always learn from his life and ask for his intercession. May his blessings be with us all. Amen.